What better way to celebrate the holiday season than by bringing together Pokemon's greatest villains? Welcome to the Rainbow Rocket Round Robin. Giovanni has been recruiting new members. Five newbies joined the team and he's even accepted Farber as a full member too. With 12 now on board, the Rocketeers are going to battle it out to discover who is the strongest villain of them all. If you haven't seen my previous videos, basically I use AI to simulate battles on Pokemon Showdown. It's a lot of fun. So, who's competing? Well, five years ago, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon introduced us all to Rainbow Rocket, which comprised six members. Giovanni, Archie, Maxi, Cyrus, Getzes, and Lysander. With Farber kind of included as well. After some entirely non-canonical recruitment, Lusamine, Guzma, Plumeria, Rose, and Oleana were inducted into the team. What a diabolical dozen. As you can see, no Volo. This is partially for ease, as Hisui Pokemon need to be used with custom settings on Showdown, and also Volo wouldn't want to play second to Giovanni in a corporate structure. As well, no Gen 9, I started this project before Scarlet and Violet were released, and also no spin-off villains, at least this time. Maybe next time. Which Pokemon for which villain? Well, the six original members of Rainbow Rocket have their teams from their Episode RR appearance. This includes movesets and abilities, but they only have five Pokemon there. So for a sixth, I gave them all a Pokemon from their home region, either picking something from a previous appearance or a Mon that fit the vibe of their team in general. Farber's team is a composite of his appearance in Episode RR and also his prior appearance in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. For the new five, their teams are carbon copies of their final battle in the Alola games for Lusamine, Guzma and Plumeria, or in Sword and Shield for Rose and Oleana. For better and for worse, movesets and abilities are unchanged from these appearances. Oleana's Milotic definitely in the for worse category. Each team also has one legendary, and here I've taken a few liberties. From Episode RR, Giovanni keeps Mewtwo, Archie has his Kyogre, and Maxi has Groudon. For Cyrus, Getzus, and Lysander, their legendary in RR was different between Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which alternated between the box art legendaries from their home region. To avoid picking one of these over the other, I gave each the third legendary from their home regions, so that Cyrus gets Giratina, Getzus has Kyurem, and Lysander gets 50% Zygarde. These also fit pretty well with in-game character plots, like for Cyrus in the Distortion World and for Getzus in the Universe sequels. For the others, Farber is a psychic specialist from Alola, so he gets Necrozma, the third legendary and a psychic type, but base form only. Naturally, Lusamine reconnects with Nihilego following her in-game plot, and likewise Rose gets Eternatus. Plumeria as a poison trainer adds the Ultra Beast Naganadal, fitting her type and her region. Likewise, Guzma adds Buzzwall. For Oleana, I needed something that fit her theme, which boils down to beauty. Looking at you, Garbodor, you sexy thing. So I gave her Feromosa, which fits the theme, and continues to add type diversity to her team. In battle, legendaries can only be used when all other Pokemon on the team have fainted, as a last resort. And yeah, I fully expect Legends to be OP, particularly the Ultra Beasts. In terms of abilities, Beast Boost is just nuts. I've said before, Legendaries, they really aren't for me, but for the villains, I broke my rule. And yes, I do know that I used Sylvalli in the last tournament for Gladion. My bad. As the title suggests, this tournament starts with a round robin. The 12 trainers will be split into two groups, A and B, where they will battle five other trainers each in a six-on-six -six single battle. There's no best of three in this tournament. Each matchup will have one battle only. After five rounds, the top two in each group advance to the semi-finals. If two or more trainers are tied on wins, the tiebreaker will be who won the match between the tied trainers. And hopefully, there's no need for anything more complicated there. For the final four, losing semi-finalists will battle for third, and of course, the winning semi-finalists will play for the championship. Sound good? Great. Now I'm going to show you how the draw was randomized on screen using a simple Excel function which determined the groups and order of play. And there you have it. Group A features Rose, Maxi, Faber, Lusamine, Cyrus, and Giovanni, while Group B has Plumeria, Guzma, Lysander, Archie, Getzes, and Oleana. Now with the draw complete, here is a schedule of release. Round 1 matches will be posted right here at 9am on Sunday December 11 Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, with rounds 2 to 5 following 3 days apart each. On December 25, the semi-finals, third playoff and final will be released to conclude this short, slightly insane villain tournament. For every battle in the round robin, the featured music will be the theme for the trainer at the bottom of the screen, regardless of the result. This is to avoid spoilers while still showing off villain music. I've had a lot of requests as well for commentary, but unfortunately this time I haven't had time to do it for this tournament, but for the next one, there will be definitely commentary throughout. And that pretty well covers everything. Make sure to subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the villainy.